Hello everyone! Welcome back to Dragon Ball Z League off-season event called the Tournament of Power Week 2. Uh, so, uh, I'm Ryan. And I'm Jay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's who we are. Uh, so for those that are wondering, the Tournament of Power is 16 teams of three pe three characters run by either one or two people that were, and the characters were drafted in a snake draft. There really isn't a theme for any of the characters. Some teams follow a theme, some teams don't. Uh, each character is given Master Roshi's training, so everyone has extra health. Uh, maps are randomized each week, and the first four weeks, which we are in week number two, are a Swiss tournament where basically uh, you get matched up with somebody near your win-loss record for the first four weeks to figure out standings. Uh, so we have the 16 teams on screen, as you can see. Public Enemy, Balanced Breakfast, HP Goes Boom, WDFA, Mean Green, Demon Kings, Bad Boys, Happy Tuesday, and Chad Blades are all 1-0. Uh, and then we got Alternative Z Fighters, Family Tree, Papeg, Kung Fu Generation, Demonology, Spice Boys, The Old and Alone, and The Drunken Sailors, all at 0-1. What do you do with a Drunken Sailor? Uh, well, the first week you lose a match, but hey, maybe this week <laughs> they'll win a match. We don't know. But we do not script these <laughs> as much as everybody likes to think we do. No, no. See, here's the thing. It's not fake. It's scripted. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just pre-recorded. That's not fake. <laughs> All right. So on to match one, we have the Kung Fu guys versus Drunk Sailors. Uh, who's there we up? go. Oh, they're in match one. Yeah. Kung Fu Generation. Oh. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't really. That's hard team to place because they got PyCon, who is so powerful. And then you got two girls who are less powerful. <laughs> And two girls that are less powerful. Well, that's a nice way to say it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, gotta be kind. And the drunken sailors have, uh, for some reason, they have base cooler, but actually it's final form cooler. Goldo and Scouter Vegeta. So, uh, this will be interesting. And hopefully... Yeah, they're both 0 1, so either one of them really has a chance because they're pretty much even. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully, uh, you know, Drunken Sailors will get to do some fun stuff, but PyCon could be a uh, interesting uh, matchup, so. Absolutely, and this week we're all on, uh, what is this map? Uh, Kami's Lookout, right? That is it, yes. Oh, no! Uh, 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 okay, that makes so me feel Vegeta. like a Drunken Sailor. <laughs> On costume four with attack plus two, defense minus one, eternal life, serious latent energy, master row, she's training for everybody, obviously, and Broly AI. Uh oh. Who's gonna uh, win? <laughs> the Pan. Kamehameha will. Good job, Pan. <laughs> Alright, Pan's coming in with defense plus three, attack minus one, fighting spirit, indignation, riding, rising fighting spirit, and a Galak under the face um, with Dende's healing and Chiaotsu AI. Wow, even on a defense plus three, that still does 8,300 points of damage. Yeah. Oh, God. Well, I mean, she. Pan... Ha I, I think she has, you know, an oh, innate. Oh. Oh. He oh. ducked it a little bit to yeah. avoid most of the hits. Yeah, the negative 2.5 defense. Um, so basically, she has, what, a defense 1.5? Defense 1, maybe? <laughs> Actually? One? Oh, yeah. that's 2.5, yeah. Yeah, so, so uh, yeah. maybe to keep her around a little bit and then give her all the charge and indignation to get yeah. uh, to throw out B2. So, I mean, it's not a bad strategy. Uh, you're just fighting a Vegeta, which is a bad strategy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you give somebody enough one-point Pataras where it, like, stacks on health, they're going to do something, hopefully. Mm -hmm. The Drunken Sailors... Looking to hopefully get the second elite of the T.O.P. Last week we had a uh, T.O.P. person, or a T.O.P. Yeah. elite. <laughs> oh, and a good tag. Yeah. yeah, she needed to get out of there. She was not doing much against Vegeta. Although, I do not like this matchup any better. Yeah, PyCon would have probably been the better one. But what does Chi-Chi have? Chi-Chi has... Oh, wow, that, that did that work. That did work, yeah. Yeah. Um, Key plus one, super minus, or sorry, key plus two, super minus one, Kibito Secret Art, Indignation, Light Body, Launcher Support, and Yajobi AI. Well, she's doing a uh, back and forth, it looks like, with Vegeta. Vegeta getting the upper hand here. 
Yeah, I mean, it's bad when on the second character, her health is basically even with yeah. him still. So let's see here. Kung Fu uh, Generation? Um, yes. I mean, yeah, at least according to the stats of last week, Chi Chi and Pan are essentially tied. Uh, mm. Doing about 28, 29,000. Uh, and Scouter Vegeta is on Drunken Sailors. He did 44, so I mean... They, Not bad. He's definitely setting himself up to do better this week, um, but his opponents are probably less caliber than his last opponent. I can't remember who he went up against. I don't remember week to week. You got to remember, we pre-record this four yeah. months in advance. So we can't remember. We're just replaying a video for everyone and then just talking over it. We are the best I mean, type of YouTubers. <laughs> I would say... Chi Chi's not doing terrible. I think she's doing better than Pan, um, but that's not really saying too much. No, I mean, they've now taken two bars off of, or three bars now, off of the first character, though. And they've taken yeah. probably seven bars, is the thing. Yeah, if I mean, maybe if Chi Chi started instead of Pan, it might have turned out better because, I mean, Vegeta basically had full health when Chi Chi came in. So this is a lot of her, which is good for Chi Chi. High speed clash. Bad for the team. Vegeta wins it. Oh, she, she might go down. That. Okay. Uh, -oh. uh, she gets okay. it off. Good. Okay, I was worried that the grab was going to interrupt it somehow. That's what I was thinking as well. All right. She has a super minus one, but it still did fourteen. That's really good. That's with the indignation. Oh, and now that now save Goku won't work. So maybe she should try yeah. it. That won't work. And it probably will work. <laughs> Uh -oh. That won't work. <laughs> it did. worked, and she it took worked. out Scouter. Good job, Chi Chi. Chi Chi beats Scouter Vegeta. In comes Since Final Cooler, Death Chaser. Oh, well. oh knocks oh. Cooler out of it. All right, Chi Chi, respect, respect. Hey, Rugrats, pick up this character. That yeah, won't work. Rugrats, Look at that! At? Wow. <laughs> Death this Beam. Really nice well, now she's dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, that was about four or five bars from her, which is really good. Mm-hmm. Pycon. Now, Pycon is going to come in with Super Plus One, Dead Days Healing, Launcher Support, Fighting Spirit, Savior, and Shiao Tsui Ai. And a Hyper Tornado for 9,400 damage. Wow. Good God. Yeah, I mean, if Kung Fu Generation is going to bring this back, it's going to be because of Pycon. Oh, yeah. I mean, you never know. Maybe maybe that was just a bad uh, matchup for Pan. Pan could have something amazing. Yeah, I mean, although their health are pretty similar at this point, honestly. I mean, I would say Kung Fu's down by a couple bars, but nothing, like, that you can't make up. Right. Oh, and yes, Cooler's build, sorry. Cooler is on Super Plus One, Launcher Support, Indignation, Serial Savior, Fighting Spirit, and Yadrobi AI. So, similar to PyCon, actually. Yeah, if PyCon can go, like, toe-to-toe -to -toe with Cooler here, maybe get a one or two bar lead... I could see Kung Fu taking this. Cause, uh, yeah, I mean, Icon is really good. Yeah, and I mean, Goldo... Uh, well, we don't know about Goldo. Let me see what Ooh. Goldo... Ooh. That, that was, that was not great. Ouch. 11,000. Yeah, Go yeah Pycon... If he can't win against Cooler, it's it's got to be all over. Well, I mean, Goldo last week only did 20,000. So... Which is about what ha Pan has left, though. Oh, good so point. if Pan has to finish off Goldo, then statistically speaking, that would mean that they at least, like, it's a close victory for either team. So oh, max power good. for both. Uh, right. If one of them takes Icon? the other out with melee, that'd be the smartest move. Yeah. Nope. Uh oh, that's, that's an old... it. I think Cooler's doing his. Oh. He was trying we to, don't know. yeah. Oh, yeah, he, he hopped back, but... I mean, All this right, is coming in, if PyCon tags. Uh, yeah, I mean, definitely that would be helpful. I don't think he will because... Yeah, paralysis. Goldo finish him off. Okay, that's it. Goldo finishes Jesus, him off, yeah. He must have... He does have exquisite skill. He has key plus two, supervised one, Kabito secret art, indignation, light body, exquisite skill. And a rock. Latent energy, and shout to AI. So, I this is either going to be Pan stepping up or Goldo just doing his average. Yeah, uh, if it's Goldo doing his average, I mean, his average will increase because he got that extra, like, four or 5,000 off of uh, PyCon. 
But mm -hmm. uh, if Pan steps up here, I mean, you know, she might get a 50,000 or 60,000 average for the week, which wouldn't be yeah, horrible. I, no, not at all. If man, she has man. Ultimate, there you go. Decides not to use the ultimate, which I think would have done probably more, but at least she hit. She still has energy, at least, but this, that exquisite oh, so. skill. <laughs> Oh my god, and he did nothing with it. He missed two grabs in a row. That is true. Oh, he's going back up to max power. Oh. Yeah, I mean, this match is either going to end in a really crazy comeback from Pan Goldo or Goldo special doing an ultimate. Missed. Oh. Goldo. Oh, how did... I thought that would have, like, at least hit. I was hoping for it. I mean, come on, Goldo ended off climactically. Yeah, I mean, this is still possible, but Goldo's going to have um, some uh, extra defense, which will make it harder for uh, Pan to get through. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God, that after image. Uh-oh, he's back up, though. Yeah, but he she has after anything. image strike, at least, so never mind. Nope. All right. <laughs> well, it looks like the Drunken oh Sailors, uh, you fell over and broke the table last week, but this week... You were able to uh, keep that table upright, as you said, hit me. <laughs> yeah, I don't that know. one, I think if PyCon did a little bit better, they could have done that. He just came in against Goldo, got stunned, and died. Yeah, uh, that exquisite skill, though, on Goldo is amazing. So that yeah. makes Drunken Sailors go to one and one, and the Kung Fu generation go to one or zero and two. Yeah. And then we have a, <laughs> a new... Uh, a new one. <laughs> what? A, a new I, one. I don't understand this meme. <laughs> Pepega, it's it's a Twitch emote. <laughs> but why? Why is it a thing? <laughs> That's my I know. question. Why is, why is any meme a thing? I mean, and we also got the old and the alone down there with their goddamn sad banner. <laughs> oh, it makes me think of a grandmother just looking at pictures of her <laughs> grandchildren. <laughs> I wish they would come and visit me. I the banners miss them are great. So. <laughs> yeah, that, we all miss Zangaya's hair. Right now, that's uh, that's the, that's my favorite banner is the old and alone. <laughs> so. Sounds great. <laughs> but they're both at zero and one, so I think Pepega has a pretty good chance. Sorry, Pepeg, whatever. Uh, just because, I mean, look, you got Broly and Tapion. That's a crazy mix for me. Why are Ginyu frogs on there? Because <laughs> Pepega is a frog emote. <laughs> All, right. Frog. All right. All it, right. It's a creative banner, okay? <laughs> it's creative. Oh, well, let's, let's just see. <laughs> let's just see. Ugh. Okay, so on the old and alone, we got Zangaya starting with defense plus two, quick, fast attack, power of rage, Dende's healing, and Krillin AI. And she's matching up against Broly in his base form with defense plus two, attack minus one, eternal life, fighting spirit, latent energy, and Majin Buu AI. So they are using their one and only allotted healing on Broly, which I think is a good idea because... It's an interesting build. I feel like build. you can do the most. Yeah, I mean, I think you opt for more of a either super or attack, right? And it depends on the week, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, let's have Broly in super tank. Let's have Broly as uh, his Kakarot spam. Let's have Broly be the meleeer. I don't particularly care. And if Broly transforms, we'll have the battle of the trap shooters. Yeah, I mean, we'll see if he transforms. He, I think he, what, transformed to Super Saiyan one last week and then died? I believe so. Broly yeah. last week thirty five thousand, uh, and give me a second for Zangaya here, because I have to find her stats. Uh, thirty five thousand. So I mean, <laughs> this is a very <laughs> batched. Yeah, shoot blaster. That's how you got to lead. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, slow lead, but I mean, it's starting to build. Broly with that tank build starting um is interesting because i feel like he's got to do a lot more now i mean possibly you never know but uh you know he's gonna if he were to transform into super saiyan and then somehow make it all the way to legendary that tank build mm -hmm. with that extra charge is gonna make yeah. him a scary contender yeah i mean 
It's true. I was thinking why they didn't go for defense three just to make it, you know, even powerful. But I guess they did want those one pointers to kind of boost his his uh, passive stats. Oh yeah. Because I mean, if, if it's all defense and then he, you know, and he gets into uh, legendary form, I, ooh, free B two. Uh, I mean, you're looking at the worst charge rate. Nice job, Zangaya. Zangaya, Zangaya. Who knows how to pronounce her name? Trap shooter. Hey. <laughs> she's uh, she's taking it to Broly here. She's got a bar and a half lead. Yeah, I mean, it's been a slow kind of whittled down. She hasn't really done any burst damage. They're both kind of going back and forth with this. She has that stun V1, which she, she has used really well mm -hmm. um, in recent times, I've noticed. Yeah, but I Trap mean... Shooter. Yeah, now her... Now the uh, defense and the charge for Broly is going to be even stronger. He could... Mm -hmm. He might skip straight. He did. He yeah. skipped straight to Legendary. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Yes! Okay, Broly. <laughs> Zangya. Oh, is it? Oh, I haven't seen that movie in years. <laughs> Another eraser cannon. And it hits. This, wow. I think this is... Uh, the old and alone okay. have really made Broly mad. Yeah. Okay. That is, that is so good. <laughs> oh, my God. Broly's really throwing out these B2s. Jesus. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the game plan. Get him up to legendary and just hope. I mean, look at that. That B2 did only 5,000 thanks to his defense. And look at this grab now. Yeah. Punch. And he Punch. tags. And tag. Oh my wow. god. Crazy combo. That's gonna be that what? is a crazy combo. What was that? Oh my god. Zanya. Okay. She is. I, I really gotta practice that name just because. I've always oh heard god, it I'm as Zangaya, it. so. Yeah, I mean, okay, Kabito coming in, doing a... That was a pretty crazy combo, too. 6,000 points of damage. Um, things are looking up for Papeg. Yeah, I mean, with Broly skipping uh, Super Saiyan and just going straight to Legendary and then tagging, uh, this is going to wow. be a... This is going to be a uphill climb uh, for uh, Old and Alone. In comes Nail. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Nail does have um, Savior. Sorry, I need to read off Kabito Kai's uh, build as well. Attack plus two, defense minus one, serious, quick, fast attack launches, or combo master, light body, and trunks AI for Kabito. Oh, power energy wave. Nice 12,000. Right yeah, he might have super. Yeah, he has super plus two, key minus one, launcher support, Savior, indignation, fighting spirit, quick, fast attack, and Yajirobe AI. And another one. Yeah, wow. Look at this. Ouch. Nail trying to close that gap. Well, he does have more damage on his super since Kabito does have that defense negative. So, oh my goodness, uh, his supers are doing a ton. I okay. Ooh, I just realized nails in costume too. I like it. Yeah, that's a nice color. Oh, palette. I love it. Yeah, Kabito. I don't like any of his colors. I'm not gonna lie. So, <laughs> it doesn't matter what costume he's in. But um, granted, this is the color guy saying that I like the color palette of nails because it's essentially black. Because <laughs> I can yeah. see it then. I can tell what it is. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if it makes it easier. Most black costumes look cool, though, because they just look sleek, stylish. Mm -hmm. like they just came out of the Matrix or something. I don't know. Yeah, and it looks like looks like Odin Alone is getting that... Uh, uh, is catching up on that lead that uh, Pepeg has right now. Yeah, I mean, Jesus, Nail has really turned it around. I thought Kabito was going to come in and do some damage, but apparently not. Nail said no thank you. I mean, it helped eliminate um, Zangaya, and then 30, uh, 20,000 to Nail, so maybe like 40,000. Brave Slash missed. No. Ouch. That's, he really needs to hit those. Those will... Like, that's one of his main uh, jobs, is to hit that ultimate. Oh, yeah. Uh, because Tapion is coming in with key plus two, super minus one launcher support, fighting spirit, serious indignation, savior, and TNAI. And that and super explosive wave. Yeah, and Nail is really showing his worth here. Alright, uh, Nail... Wow. Uh, granted, they still have their two best characters on old and alone. Uh, Nail last week, 69,000. And Ooh, then... Nice. Uh, but Tapion, though, I know Tapion did quite well. 64,000. 
Yeah. So it, when he can get his spam game started, that's when there we go. When he gets those like another one's going, this charge rate is just insane. But uh, that's only if Nail lets him breathe a little bit. Also, if he lets him connect. But wow, I looked away to like read stats, and Tapion's health is gone. Yeah. Brave slash, oh, right. all was, of it missed. That miss. was his B2. I thought that was his ultimate. And in comes Broly. Oh, Broly, how is this going to be? He's got to turn it around. I mean, right now they're, what, two, three bars behind? Um, Yeah, he's they would be three bars baby. behind, yeah. I believe Broly can do it. I believe in Broly. That was That's a 12,000 B B2 throw combo. That's insane. Oh my god. That's disgusting. <laughs> and it and tag nail does, and in comes Vegeta with a Gallic gun for 62. Alright, Vegeta coming in with attack plus one launcher support, Dende's healing, indignation, fighting spirit, and Yajirobe AI. Oh wow, do they all have Yajirobe? Oh no, just two of them. Grab uh, B2, 9,300 points of damage. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, Baby's legendary, or not Baby, sorry, Broly's legendary form is quite that legendary. Kakarot? Nope, he tags again. But, oh, Tapion did not get to full health because of that. Mm, not great, but not the worst thing either. If they keep playing the tag game, it will start to Tapion. <laughs> Tapion. Yeah. Not a great idea <laughs> for spamming. Oh, but they're both at max power. Oh, oh what is, nice. That's not Papillons. No, the, but that's still a 10,000 point B2. Yeah, no, that was great. Ooh, Ooh, and a baby transformation. But see, he did not skip all the way to being a big ape. Can He's not as good as Broly. I think he can, could. Can baby skip? Okay, I, yeah, think I baby don't know. Can skip. No, I guess Broly. he can't. Yeah, oh, okay, well, he's, Jesus Christ, that... That charge right, that's a bad move, yeah. baby. Uh, looks oh like Team Pepe God. has now retaken the lead. Yeah, that's why Tapion is so scary. When he gets to low health, he just Ooh. becomes a glass cannon. He can spam his heart out. That is true. And that tag game, though, that tag game might keep Old and Alone uh, alive and well. Afloat. <laughs> yeah. They may okay. end up bringing Let's their see. grandkids to come see him. Well, if Tapion decides to tag, which he might as well now, if he's going to tag, it doesn't matter because he doesn't have health uh, right. to get up to that next bar. Oh, my goodness. Come on. He does. Okay, yeah, there we go. There we go. And Broly's now coming back with... Two bars of health. And this is a bad <laughs> yes. matchup for Nail. I mean, his melee won't be able to break through, so... But that oh, will... Oh, God. That nope. won't. <laughs> he dodges it. But he tags. Another... What is this match? <laughs> There's like five tags so far. Jesus. Are we going to see an Omega Blaster? I hope so. Oh, that would have been a good time, <laughs> Rolly. <laughs> yeah, he missed the punch. Okay. Free nah. B2, maybe? Yeah, he's just going to punch him. Okay. Oh, he did try <laughs> the free B2, <laughs> but he missed. Oh, my God. He misses at the very end of the well, combo. How? That did not. Why? <laughs> oh, my God. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Well, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? And another he tag. tag. What is this team? Oh my god. Oh, but Nail, Nail's not messing around. He's going to look to... That's an oh, ult. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's it. That is it for and uh, old and totally alone. overkill. <laughs> this is a cool ult. That is 18,000. 14... 14 <laughs> and he has... A super negative one still. Oh my goodness. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. Pepeg with like five tags uh, wins. <laughs> uh, <laughs> putting them to one and one. And the old and alone, uh, their grandchildren are not coming to visit them. Uh, they are still old and alone at zero and two. <laughs> so we want to thank you for watching uh, and we will be back in the next episode where we get to do matches three and four make sure to like subscribe comment down on the video join our discord declare for a team uh, 
and something else that I may have forgotten. Jay? Have fun, and we will see you next time. <laughs> I don't know. Bye.